What was it about the controller's office that really intrigued you and you wanted to run and be in this position? So the city controller is the accountant, the auditor, the paymaster. So my background is in accounting and auditing. I'm a certified public accountant. I'm our city's first. And I was looking at the history and saw that we never had a CPA before or an accountant or auditor. So I said, this is a perfect position for me. And with this position, you could really bring about transparency on finances, on city operations, on policies, because people want to know. So part of all of this, you know, is transparency. And one of the things that you've talked about are maps. So what are some of the things that you have focused on? What are you hoping those maps will achieve? So maps do provide a better visualization of data, especially from a geographic perspective. So some of the maps we've created around are around um, homelessness, around public safety. Another map we made is our affordable housing map that shows where affordable housing covenants are. That has helped people find housing. And with these maps and these analysis, it also helps these districts understand how policies are affecting the population at hand. And so these maps are, are there to tell a story better than words can or a table can. What have you learned since you've been in office? Well, number one, I really love this job. People think government jobs might be boring, or, but I love it. I think this is the best job I've ever had. I get to do something that I love to do and I get to help people. Number two, I think people who work in government have their heart in the right place. They mm -hmm. want to do good. What I think and what I've learned on why that's not enough is there are times where bureaucracy or red tape or, oh, actually, you can't do that. Uh, we haven't done that before. It slows things down. And I think what we're trying to do is say, no, we have to be innovative. We are in an emergency right now. We have to figure out ways to tackle these issues, these problems. Because if every year we're going to say the same thing, oh, we, this is just the way it is, this is how it is. And it's like, okay, well, if this is the way it is, then we're just going to have people continue to be dying on our streets. We're going to continue to have people being evicted, people being harassed, animals being stuffed in kennels with four other dogs. And that's the sad reality of it. And what I try to do is say, look, y'all, like, this is not working. Or it's working, but it's if this is the way you intended the system to work, then this is not good enough. And I think that's what I'm trying and our office is trying to work with in order to change that, right? What I hope and what we hope in our office is to inspire others to, to take up this, you know, grab the mantle and continue this pathway of education, of transparency, of identifying what's wrong with the system and fixing the system that we live in. So that's our goal.